Hi, Monica. Seeing as I can't get through on my phone, I thought I'd make a recording of my adventures for you. It's Tuesday. Looks like a beautiful day. I'm all set up in the local hotel. I uh, haven't been out of the station yet, you'll be glad to know, but I can see it right now at my window. Man, the sun is hitting the roof and it's glowing like it's alive. Wait a minute, someone's throwing stones against the window. Oh, no. Sorry, Monica, it's this native guy who's been driving me nuts. I'll have to go, but I've, I've met the guy who runs the station and he says the problem has been dealt with. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be moving on today. I'll call you when my phone's working. Yeah, all right. <laughs> What's up? It's morning. You know, I'd figured that out. I'll see you later. Hello. Stop calling me air hose. The name's Thompson. Thompson. What? Breakfast is ready. Thank you. <laughs> what? Room service. Oh, I thought you didn't have room service. Just this once. I bought you some toast. Sorry about the coffee, it's instant. Oh, that's okay. Mm, it's not as bad as I remember. Oh, here, have a seat. I'm working. What, you have other guests? Maybe I'll just stand. I see you wear boxer shorts. Oh, sorry, I'll just put those away. Yeah, sorry. I've never met a guy who wore boxes before. What's it like? Oh, well, they're very, um... They're, uh, I mean, what's the point? It's not like they're really doing anything, is it? Well, they're good for your sperm count. Uh, be because they're not so tight. Oh. Eat your toast before it gets too cold. Oh, hey, hold on. Uh, I wanted to ask you something about the station. What station? Mm. Well, the one out the window, look. <sighs> that place gives me the creeps. Did you notice yesterday afternoon how it cast a shadow over the whole town? No, I see. Oh, oh, God. Oh. What? What's wrong? What the hell is this? What? This brown stuff on the toast. I thought it was some kind of chocolate spread. You're a typical yank, you know that? Relax. Here. <laughs> Take a drink. Oh. oh. I knew instant coffee was good for something. That was Marmite. Yeah? It's a yeast extract. It takes a while to get used to. I don't think I'll make the time. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks for breakfast. I... I'd better get going. Okay. Hey! What the hell? You're trying to kill me! Well, what are you doing down there? I'm trying to fix your car. Who asked you to? I'm just doing you a favor. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. What's wrong with it? I heard a funny rattle when you drove in yesterday. Oh, well, you might have mentioned it before you started to fix it. Didn't want to wake you. You're the only one. Don't worry. I'm cheap. Look, you don't understand. I could have run you over. I've been here less than 24 hours and I've almost killed two people, both from your family. Don't you start with my uncle again. <sighs> okay, um, how long before it's ready? Don't know. Might have to order some parts. What? Relax, fella. You're on holiday. Enjoy the scenery. I just want to get out of here. And the feeling's mutual. Monica, change of plan. It looks like I'm destined to stay in Claiborne for a little while longer. I might head up the hill and have a look around the station. Talk to you later. Thompson. Good morning. Enjoy your breakfast? No. Are you driving up the hill? No. Oh, car trouble? Funny that. If you do go up the hill, you'll need this. What is it? The Tongol Tukajaki. Uh-huh. And that is... Uh, you Europeans call it a protective amulet. Mata, just what is it I need protection from? The hill. Fine. You are now. Yeah. See you later. Uh, Mike, please get that thing repaired as soon as you can. Is the car fixed? Oh, yeah, but you almost caught me. Give me the leads. Just make sure he doesn't find them on you. Follow him. But don't go past the Totora tree.